Suno recently released a new audio editing tool for Premiere users called Studio. This video is a complete tutorial on how to use it. Later in the video, I'll share with you how you can add your own voice, yes, your own voice, to Suno songs using Studio. I'll also show you how to create harmonies with two voices so they are singing at the same time. No additional software required. Studio is its own separate tab on the left. And once it opens, the interface might start looking like this. While it's not clear, at the top left, there is a library symbol, and there's also this musical note. By clicking on them, they open up the Create column and the Library column, which is the same interface that you would normally use to create Suno songs. In the Library tab, you can click on the magnifying glass to search for a song, and there's also a filter option as an alternative. I'm going to edit a rock song that I previously made. Here's a listen. <laughs> When you find the song that you want, click down until you see the mouse cursor change to a hand. Click down and then drag over to the audio editing timeline. I'm going to close these other panes for now just to give more space. After dragging a song onto the timeline, you'll see a right pane show up. You can change the color of the clip. You can adjust the tempo so it matches the instrumental. Transpose, moving this up, would change the pitch of the singer. The speed is self-explanatory along with the clip volume slider. Because I've done this already, the stems are already extracted. But for you, once you've brought it over, you would see an Extract Stems button. It'll take a minute or two, but then Suno will completely extract them. You can either drag and drop individual stems over, and if you wanted to play them, just hover over, there's a play button, or you can click on insert them all. With all of these here, I'm gonna remove this original track, and if you click the three dots, you provide it with another options, more about take lanes in a moment. You can delete it, duplicate it, or rename the stem. With all of the stems on the timeline, on the left, there's a number of options to work with. First, you can mute individual stems by clicking down on the volume button. Clicking on the letter S isolates only that one stem. Let's isolate only the guitar sound. Right below it, there is a no input option. If you click down on the arrow, give it a moment. And what'll happen is, is it'll give you an option to connect a microphone of your choice. And I'm gonna show you how to record audio a little bit later. You can also just double click directly on the stem to rename it. There is a fader slider to move the sound from left to right. When you have a stem selected and you move down a little bit to the corner on each side, you can see that the mouse cursor changes to this double arrow. If you click down on it and pull, this is dragging the fade in and fade out option on a particular stem. Along the bottom, you have a beats per minute, which can be changed. There is a metronome button there's a record button, and then you have your regular play options. You can loop a clip so you can keep hearing it over and over again automatically. And then there's a follow playhead button. What this will do is this will center the playhead in the middle and the audio will follow along. And then of course you have zoom out and zoom in. Let's enhance this song by adding in new vocals at the beginning. To add a new track, at the very bottom, there is an Add Track button. Click on that, it'll be added. This will add a blank area where you can start making adjustments. And then you can also just move it down to align it with other sounds as well. Within the blank area, click down and drag. And what this will do is this will create a section where you can start adding in additional sounds. 
Once you let go, you'll notice that at the bottom, Suno will pop up a number of options. You can select from predefined options, or if you want to create something that's completely custom, select that option, then you can describe your instrument and the style that it is. And then this button on the side just expands, and then you have some additional options. Let's go with vocals. And in the style, I'm going to write hard rock. I'm just going to write in that quick lyric. Click create. Once it's done, you'll see a notification come up. If you click on it, this is take lanes that I was talking about earlier. You'll be provided with two different versions. Let's give a listen. Oh yeah! Let's kick it! We'll select one of these, and because we don't want the music that follows after it, we'll just insert it as its own stem with the music removed. We don't need this anymore, so we'll get rid of it. And then if we play the song from the beginning, oh yeah! Let's kick it! One neat trick is you can pull existing sounds from other Suno songs that you've already created. For example, let's say we wanted to switch out this guitar riff. Let's open up the library. So this is the guitar solo. This time we'll just insert only the stem that we need. We'll mute the other guitar sound. Let's kick it! This is just one combination, but you could continue adding as many sounds as you want from older songs to completely remix your original tracks. Let's talk about adding multiple voices together so you can create a harmony on the same song. I'm going to go back to the library tab and I'm going to open up create. I'm going to find the original song and I'm going to click and I'm going to drag it into the create tab. I want to make sure that it's actually a cover. And then as I scroll to the bottom, I'm going to open up the advanced options. And then I'm going to make sure that this is female because the original song has a male singing. And then I'm going to increase this audio influence to about, let's say 80% and then click create. Let's move this over and drop it in. And again, we would extract stems as we've been doing the entire time. <laughs> So you just heard the harmonies and another option is is that you could actually have the singers trading the singing back and forth. So what we'll do is we will we'll go to the female singer and we will click and drag and we'll delete the first part of her clip. But what we'll also have to do is we'll have to then delete the portion and trim this a little bit so that the male singer and the female singer trade verses back and forth. Let me show you how to record your own voice and add it to songs in Suno. We're going to create a new track. I'll just rename this to my voice. We're going to select the input. And then once the input is selected, there is a button right next to it, which is grayed out now. But if you click on it, that will tell Suno that you're going to start recording audio in this particular section. Go to an area on the timeline and fill it out. But once you're ready, click the record button. And then you can start talking, you can start singing, and add it in as you're listening. We'll stop that there, and then you'll see it come up. Now let's just go back to the beginning, and I'll play it, and then you can hear my voice of what I just said along to the music. And then you can start talking, and you can start singing, and add it in as you're listening. Another thing that you can do is if you've recorded audio outside of Suno, you can click and you can just drag that in. Let me delete this. This was an older file that I had of me singing. 
and this was recorded completely outside of Suno, I will start it again. Well, I'm walking down that lonesome road with a heavy heart and a broken load. The sun setting low, painting skies of gold. So of course you have to adjust the volume, you have to make some edits, but you get the idea. And then you can actually download it and your voice will be there. It, it does actually work. Take a listen. I'm walking down that lonesome road with a heavy heart and a broken load. So now you can actually record your own voice or take songs that you've sung a cappella. You can add them into studio and you can apply them now to songs that you've created within the platform. Another way of recording audio is using the Create tab. Let's open that back up. Let's clear this. We're going to go to Audio and then we're going to go to Record. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to record myself just making some sounds. Da 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 da. You can trim it, hit save, and then hit continue. With this sound saved to your library, let's click and drag it back to the create portion. We're going to leave the lyrics as an instrumental. Let's clear out styles. And then instead, I'm going to write in rock guitar solo and then click create. Listen to how Suno reworked this. Now, of course, it continues to create a song from it, but much like all of the other examples, we'll drag it into the timeline. We'll click Extract All Stems. Suno will take a minute or two to do this, but once it's done, all we need to do is isolate that guitar solo and then drag it into the studio timeline. If you've made a mistake and you want to go back to a previous edit, you could use the undo and redo buttons at the top right. Under your project name, if you click on the three dots, you'll see something called versions. If you click on this, it'll give you your editing history. Just simply click on one of them, you'll click restore this version, and then you'll revert back to a previous edit. Exporting is as easy as clicking the export button and then just selecting the format that you want. Suno will add the song to your library and you'll see something here that's an identifier that says made with Suno. Click the three dots, hover over download, and then just select the audio file of your choice. But what happens if you want to export your stems in a MIDI format so they can be used in GarageBand or another audio editing software of your choice? Within the timeline, highlight all of the stems that you want to convert to a MIDI, right click, and then you will see a get MIDI option. It does cost 10 credits, and then you'll just go through the same flow as exporting your files as usual. As a bonus, let me give you some shortcuts so you can use Suno Studio like a pro. Clicking one, two, three, or four on your keyboard will open or close the workspace columns from left to right. If you want to change the layout between vertical and horizontal, use the back click tilde button and you can see the layout change. To undo an edit, use command or control in the letter Z. And to redo an edit, use command or control shift in the letter Z. The space bar on your keyboard plays or pauses songs. And to click a particular stem in the timeline, hold Command or Control, and then click the letter E. To solo a stem, use Command or Control, Shift, and the letter S. To mute a stem, use Command or Control, Shift, and the letter M. And then to duplicate a clip, use Command or Control and the letter D. If you want to click and drag stems around but not have it snap to the grid, hold down until it changes the icon and then hold down the command or control button and then you can just freely move it around. To zoom in and out, you can use the plus or minus signs on your keyboard. With a stem selected, hit the C button to turn on or off the metronome. With a stem selected, Use Command or Control and the letter L to loop a stem. And use Command or Control and the letter F to center your playhead. If you got value out of this video, consider subscribing to my channel so you don't miss out when new content goes live. And if you're looking to learn more about getting creative with AI tools, 
I have content available that you can click on right here.